Good morning. How are you this morning? I guess I forgot the lantern on Friday. If you guessed on the stairs, it is correct. But I can't show you today because I'm in a different room. This is my upstairs room. So Connor came home on the weekend, so I moved my school stuff and my sewing stuff upstairs. How are you today? If you could pick a color, what color would you pick? I think I would pick blue today. And how are you feeling? I'm feeling a little bit silly. Did you notice something? Well, we were given an e uh, received an email this morning about theme days. So today's theme is Crazy Hair Day. What do you think? Do you like it? Should I keep this hairdo? I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty silly. What's the day today? If we were at school, it would be uh, Monday. Oh, I said it. <laughs> I was going to say Monday night football. <laughs> Sorry, it is Monday. And what is the day, the number of our day? Right there. 27. So it is, it's the football Monday. And it's the 27th. And what month? January, February, March, and April. And the year 2020. Yeah. And what's the weather like today? If I look on my phone. And I look outside, it is matching. Ooh, it's a nice day today. Look at the temperature. Nice. It's going to get up to 10, and it's sunny. But it's calling for rain all week. So if you're going to do something outside, it looks like today might be your day to get out to do some outside work. Meaford's a little bit colder, but still sunny. And definitely looking like rain for the week. Okay, in our news, Trudeau has introduce the wage subsidy program for businesses and the applications open today. So that might have to do with um, some of your families. Um, and they're really still cracking down on people making sure that they're not meeting in group, large groups. I guess there was some charges on the weekend for a church in Toronto that was open for a service on Sunday. And today Ford is supposed to um, give out the plan for reopening some of Ontario today, but he's also has a personal story so I know that he will be definitely making sure that it is a slow start and a safe start. And Minister Lecce, he spoke yesterday and had an announcement that schools, they did give a date, um, but it is a flexible date. It's not a hard date, so it could change. Uh, May 29th for potentially going back to school. Okay, I have a comic today. It is Charlie Brown and Lucy. This one. And Lucy's saying to Charlie Brown, 
You? You're going to enter the city spelling bee? You? Oh, brother, she says. And Charlie Brown answers, well, what's wrong with that? What's wrong with trying? I can try, can't I? What's the good of living if you don't try a few things? Good attitude, Charlie Brown. But then Lucy says, spell astylchloralines terrace. And then Charlie Brown thinks, maybe I shouldn't enter. That's a pretty big word. <laughs> I would need help spelling that word too. Okay, birds. Birds I've seen. Uh, continue to see woodpeckers at my bird feeder. Uh, robin, seagulls, morning doves, finch. Cardinals. There were lots of singing cardinals yesterday. I don't think I found anything new. My biggest one is the purple finch. I don't think I've found anything new after that one so far. So I'll be keeping my eye open for new birds that I haven't seen. And the item on Friday was this. And the clue was if you have a dog, you'll know what these are. These are burrs. So they are like Velcro and they have seeds in them and that's the way the seed travels. See how it's sticking on my finger? Incredible. So that will go on the dog's fur and the dog will carry it and then it might the dog might try and take it off because Ollie does that. And then it'll seed somewhere else. So if you guessed a burr, that's a good guess. That's what it was. This is my new item. Do you know what that is? It's the green thing stuff that I want you to identify and it's on a piece of bark. Okay, we'll look at that tomorrow. And the sound I have is an outdoor sound. Are you ready? Here, let me try that again. I didn't have the volume very high. That all is really strange. That, it sounds like a leaf blower, but it's actually this machine that spins a really hard brush and they're moving all of the dirt and stones off the edge of the grass and the, and the driveway. So they had multiple machines like that and they were cleaning up the condo, condo area. So that, that was a hard one, but I thought it was kind of neat. I'd never seen a machine like that before. I just wanted to mention that Connor and I and Rubel played um, the Castles game, and the first game I won, and I won because I threw one of the lids and it got into the special thin plastic one. And when you do that, you win the whole game. I had a C-A-S to spell castles, but then I got that shot. It actually was on the edge, and then my next shot hit it into it. So it was pretty fun. 
the boys, I think, were surprised how fun it was. So I don't know if you'll get a chance to make that castles game. It's pretty simple. And it's very inexpensive. And it's a whole game that the whole family can play. I don't know if anyone got to see the Canadian concert last night, Strong Together, but um, I'm going to Google some of some of it. I saw the end of it, but I didn't get to see the whole thing, and I really wanted to, but um, we had a birthday dinner for Max, and then um, we took Ollie for her walk, and by the time we got back, it was just the end that I got to see. But I did get to see that last song, and it was really amazing. I like to see Brian Adams. He was he was one of my favorites in grade 8. Today we're going to talk about an animal at the zoo, the Toronto Zoo, and it's in the animal and plants category and then Africa. And it's called the Mellers chameleon. And this is what it looks like. And it's a reptile, and it's from the African rainforest. The Mellers chameleon, the largest chameleon on mainland Africa, can grow up to 60 centimeters. So about that big. Females are slightly smaller, with less prominent helmet and dorsal crest. And the male has a swollen bulge at the base of his tail, which houses hormones. When the lizard is at rest, its colors is deep lime green with yellow stripes splashing down its flanks with random black spots scattered over it. The body is slightly compressed vertically and is covered by scales, both large and small. Those at the throat run in horizontal lines. Although there is no throat crest, the neck is thick. The head, large in relation to the rest of the body, can be as long as 7 centimeters and tapers toward the snout. The moderately sized helmet stands upright at the back of the skull. Immediately behind this are two large occipital lobes. A ridge of large scales flows over the edge of the helmet and continues down the face to the top of the mouth. Also, a ridge of scales begins above each eye and descends down the face to the snout. A small stubby protrusion or, or horn extends from the upper lip. And I'll give you a glimpse of that picture again. You can see above the head there is that like extended helmet and the little spikies on the chin. Uh, the lizards are found on tropical grasslands and in the treetops of bushland savannas. The diet, because Meller's newborns are big, relative to other chameleon species, they progress to eating large prey quickly. Hatchlings begin to eat small insects, flies, bugs, and worms. As adults, they consume locusts, cockroaches, spiders, small lizards, and hatchling birds. Anything that moves is the right size. The lizard is also known as the bird-eating chameleon. They are carnivores. So there you go. I was can't seem to find where they, if they change colors. Here, survival. Miller's chameleon has adapted to a very specific environment niche and cannot respond to change or move away quickly. Human activity is encroaching upon its habitat, altering and degrading it. Because of its large size and handsome appearance, Although it is illegal to do so, the pet trade seeks out this species. However, it is extremely 
susceptible to stress and may not survive being transported. So it still doesn't say if it can change its colors, but There you go. The reptile chameleon, Meller's chameleon from Africa. Okay. So today is going to be a sun salutation, but unfortunately I hurt my knee. So I'm just going to do it sitting on the bed and see how it goes. Okay. Hmm. Take a deep breath in. Let's do that one more time. Remember your breathing. So what I've done differently is instead of doing that stretch, like a runner stretch, I'm sticking out my leg and touching my toes. And then this is the cobra stretching out that chest. Oh, go all the way back. Okay, so the sun salutation is always a nice way to wake up in the morning. And as I said, I'm not able to do it because I can't bend my knee very well. This morning, an old basketball injury. So what I'm going to do today, if I can show you, I have a new cabinet. So you see how it has all the, the shelves? Where's my pointer finger? It has shelves. And I'm going to organize. I'll show you the mess. Stuff on my bed. And all of that stuff. And you want to know what that stuff is? That's art stuff. And it's school stuff. And it's recycling so that I can do some more uh, um, art with. So it's things that I've been collecting to do this program and or other classes that I've had at school. So all my art stuff is there too. So that's my goal is to clean and organize that today. So I'll show you tomorrow what it looks like. Okay, I think that's everything on the list. Oh, did you see the lantern? Right there. 
on my door handle. I remembered today. Okay, so I hope you have a great day. If you're able to get outside, it's beautiful, nice temperature, and it's going to be rainy the next few days, so it might be a nice chance to get out. Um, I miss you, and I'll see you tomorrow. And some I might see today on our video chat at 10 o'clock. Okay, take care. Bye.